Hello everybody! Matthew here from Wild Time with Matthew. So, um, I'm going to be uploading a video either today or tomorrow. Um, which, I'll say some stuff in there, which, the stuff that I say in there, I am not trying to offend anybody in any way sort of form and that so um yeah i'm not trying to offend anyone or anything like that and um so yeah and with me now i'm in my motorbike gear got my motorbike boots on motorbike pants and Jacket. I had my helmet on just now, but I took it off, and I'm just um, riding around in some bush fast and that on my Honda JPT125 scooter, and the stuff that I've been through now with it, like through water, going over damn walls and that on dirt slow pathways and that is a little bit wild and um i'm using it like an adventure bike a bit but i know it's not an adventure bike but it's the only bike i have and um yeah it's actually does pretty well for like a very small scaled adventure bike if you put like off-road tires on it and that um, it handles uh, some dirt trails actually very well I must say which is surprising for the type of shape the bike is and it's a semi-automatic so it's got no clutch but you still have to change gears on it and um, this one spot I um, stopped and I put my left boot into some water and there's actually a little hole on the side of my boot where um, water went in so I got a little bit of a wet foot but yeah let me show you my bike in the place where I am at the moment now so yeah there's my bike. I actually feel a little bit like Nora Lee, aka Itchy Boots. Um, go check her out on YouTube. She's her. What she does is she is a woman who goes around um, countries and that on the back of a motorbike. Um, she's already busy with season six and with season five she was here in south africa which um was actually quite interesting and the motorbike that she had here in south africa was a honda um i think it's a r -C or something with a c r or something or another um 250 L Honda motorbike it's like off and on road motorbike and um, she named it Savannah and she's actually done the Dakar rally in that bike but on the last stage she broke her bike in two pieces and um, she's been to Zimbabwe um, she's been all over South Africa, she's even been in Namibia with it, and to some other places than that, and she got her motorbike from Fired Up Motorcycles here in South Africa, and um, what the ones my dad's, um, got his bike from Fired Up and um, he found uh, out about Ichi Boots and that, and then he started watching her, and now uh, 
he's like transforming his hero 150 into like a bike that he's gonna go do all sorts of these adventures who go like all the way to Port Elizabeth and Durban and Cape Town with and, and that sort of thing but um yeah so at the moment with my gear on and that I feel a little bit like Nora Lee as in itchy boots so go check it out and now uh, with her season 6 she's riding a Honda C or something or another like that same three letters as in for the other her Honda that she used here in South Africa but this time she's using a Honda 300 Rally and she's named it Alaska because <laughs> she is trying to get all the way through to Alaska and um, yeah so I'm gonna be heading home in a minute and I'm gonna see if one of my friends wants to come over and then I'm gonna play him some songs on drums and that sort of thing so yeah okay so in the video that's going to be coming out after this one remember I'm not trying to offend anybody in any way shape or form nah. okay and um, yeah I'm feeling a lot better so now I'm just waiting for snake calls to come in. I haven't had any now at the moment. So yeah. I've got to go through about one or two more water crossings now on my way home. And yeah, so that's like an adventure all in itself. So you don't need a, like an actual adventure bike and that to do your own kind of adventure riding. In that because I don't have an adventure bike and I'm doing my own type of adventure riding but I don't tend to film it but um if I get a, a bike license for like big bikes and once I get myself a big bike I'm gonna keep my Honda deputy and um I don't know, airplane flying over and um I'm going to see if I can get about three boxes for the bigger bike and that and a tank bag and that and see if I can get some GoPro mounts and that for the bike and that sort of thing and then I'm going to plan on going doing like a spending a few months or well, probably spending about like two months or so going spending time I'm gonna ride I'm gonna stay over places along the way to three destinations that I want to be able to go and visit or to go to on a motorbike which is Durban Port Elizabeth in Cape Town and I think there's a place somewhere in between Port Elizabeth and Durban or so that um I think it's East London or something like that yeah, but yeah and I want to see if I can organize for like um, accommodation and that but I've got to get lots of money in first and that so yeah Okay, and this weekend I'm planning on taking my mom out to um, a place called Glenafree Country Lodge. Gonna spend a lovely day there. Going there on a Saturday, but we don't know what time yet. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. And I'm driving, I said to her that, because she's not driving and I know she hasn't been there before, so that's gonna be fun. So yeah. 
Okay, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Matthew out.